residents of One City Shelter have suggestions for Mayor Bill de Blasio. This woman asked me to keep her identity hidden. If they could provide more resources to help us when we come into the shelter. They need to send more people out to check on these buildings more periodically to make sure everything that they're trying to put into effect is done right. Hoping to clean up the city's infamous shelter system, Mr. de Blasio just released a shelter scorecard, a report that catalogs safety violations at the city's more than 600 shelters. According to the report, there are over 21,000 problems that need to be addressed. This Elmhurst Emergency Shelter, a former Pan American Hotel, got hit by 17 code violations one day this month for things like broken, defective, or leaky fixtures. It's also reportedly plagued by vermin. I haven't seen anything like that as of yet. My closet door is literally hanging from like one hinge and you know I have an eight-year-old and I don't want him you know I don't want that to fall on him and stuff like that. The conditions in traditional shelters are typically better than at cluster shelters. These are units rented out by the city from private landlords often paying more than the market rate for dismal conditions. Though cluster shelters account for just 20% of residents, nearly 70% of outstanding violations occur in these buildings. The mayor plans to phase out this type of housing in coming years. He is also increasing security at dozens of buildings after an East Harlem man was murdered by his roommate last week. Despite the reports of crime and theft that plague city shelters, the residents in Elmhurst assure me that they don't feel threatened here. Oh yeah, I feel safe, yeah. I feel safe. For the most part, yes. The city promises to increase the shelter repair budget from 37 million to 54 million. And City Hall promises from now on, all shelters will be inspected twice a year. Reporting for Currents from Elmhurst, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.